Back to Live in the D, everyone. It is time to get you empowered when it comes to your finances. So back with us is Nathan Mercero, Certified Financial Planner and President of Planning Alternatives Wealth Advisors for Life in Bloomfield Hills. And today we are talking about student loans and almost everybody has to deal with them one way or another. Either you have them personally or a sister, cousin, friend, bestie, someone has it. But it's turning into such a big problem these days. Why? Well, a lot of people need to get through college. Mm -hmm. Parents are motivated to help, and let's uh, people have a mindset, let's do whatever it takes. They end up being saddled with a lot of debt, mm -hmm. and a lot of people don't understand the other implication that comes with that. Right, so there are some common mistakes that people make, and we've got some of them for you guys today. The first one is not understanding the responsibility that comes between federal loans versus uh, private loans, right? So explain that to us a little bit. Loans are available for people to uh, use to get mm -hmm. through college. Uh, in general, you want to lean toward the federal loan offering. Mm -hmm. It's a much more flexible offering, right. and there are just other opportunities that can arise later if there's a challenging time on repayment as well. Right, right. So you can refinance. They just offer you a lot more flexibility than private loans, right? Exactly. So. One of the key things is knowing when you have to start paying these because they differ between the private and the federal, right? You know, we all uh, have our focus on college mm -hmm. and uh, time flies by and before you know it, we're, people have graduated, our grandchildren, our children, and now is the time to start paying this debt. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't understand how these loans quickly add up right. and then also the timeline that they need to start paying those loans back. Absolutely. So let's talk about this. There's another key that people need to know is what type of payment plan they're on because they could be on the wrong one, which is a major problem, like you're only paying the interest and you're not touching the principal, right? Right. Mm -hmm. And that's a big difference between the private loan and the federal loan. The private loan is much more restrictive mm -hmm. and many times people graduate from college, they get their job, but maybe that job is not what they had hoped for. Right. And it may be a really challenging financial time. So mm -hmm. you want to understand all of your repayment options so that they fit your budget right. and that you don't find your stra yourself strapped financially. Right. And you have to think about this before you take the loans out. Yes. Right? Kind of project what you might be making and so on. All right. So now let's talk about knowing your overall budget, right? Many people pay, 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 and pay, but they don't even know what their balance is. They don't know where they stand. Why is it important to know where you are with your student loans? You really need to be organized about what you have so that you can be in control of your finances. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be uh, ready to enter the workforce and then immediately be frustrated with right. all of this debt. And right. so this is really about the empowerment step of knowing what you have financially, knowing what you have to commit to, mm -hmm. and then having a plan that makes it work. Absolutely. So finally, it, this one seems so simple, <laughs> but a big, another co big common mistake that people make is not reaching out for help when they can't make their payments. Yeah. Yes, we can have the best laid plans, but life happens. Yes. And when life happens, we need to be aware of what our options are. And instead of burying your head in the sand, talk mm -hmm. to your loan service provider, be right. proactive, take action, have a discussion, right. and make sure that you're making the best choices possible in your situation. Right, and for federal loans, they'll work with you, right? Kind of pay based on your income. There are a number of options, and they are based on the federal loan program. So mm -hmm. make sure that you research things online, give the service provider a call and make things happen. Got it. Thank you so much. Always great to have you. Love the advice that Thank you give. You.